Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial where I try to cover a Photoshop tip technique or something in about 30 seconds, but it's usually almost always longer. Today we're going to talk about the worthless ruler tool, and I call it that because I think most of you aren't going to use it all that much. It's located here underneath the eyedropper tool, the ruler tool. Here's what most of you are going to use it for. You basically click and hold, drag out a measurement, and by the way, you get to see the measurement between these points. You can see the width, 2,771 pixels, and I've covered an elevation of 149 pixels between here and down here where I finished it. You can click and drag either point to readjust it or hit the clear button to get rid of it, but here's what most of you will use it for, this straighten layer button. Let's say you have a landscape photo, the horizon is on an angle, you can just drag this straighten tool across, or I'm sorry, the ruler tool across it, and hit straighten layer, and boom, it's going to tilt the whole image up to come into line with that line that you drew. That's what you'll probably use it for, but here's some other cool, kind of really cool stuff that it does. You can draw out an angle or a ruler here along this angle, then you can hold down the Alter Option key and you get a little protractor icon when you hover over one of the ends of the, the ruler that you drew out, and you can draw a second line out of that. So you can sort of cover angles and use the Pythagorean theory to figure out what the angle is because length one is your first ruler, 488 pixels, that's this one, and 1,001 pixels is this one here, and you can see that it's an angle of 78.3 degrees. Um, you can click on one of the ends and adjust the angle if need be to like this, and now we're at 125.8 degrees, whatever, kind of cool, um, good and probably useful for some graphic design things as well as web design things, as well as even some photography stuff. Hit the clear button. There's one other really cool thing you can do with this. Well, Commander Control R, by the way, you can bring up your rulers and right click and change the unit of measure to like inches, right? So now when we drag it out, we've got 20 inches across, um, and that's in terms of, if I bring up image size here and switch it to inches, you can see technically the image is 64 inches across, so that's how it's measuring this. Um, I'm going to clear that and I'm going to set my unit of measure back to pixels. Commander control R to make the rulers go away. This is kind of cool. If you go image analysis, set measurement scale and choose custom. Here's what you can do. You can see it says, hey, the ruler tool has been activated while this dialog is open. You may use it to measure the pixel length for use in your scale. So just hang with me here for a second. Let's say we know that this Polaroid image is exactly three inches across. We can drag this ruler across it, and it's going to say, all right, you made a pixel length selection of 469 pixels. Now we can say, all right, the logical length of it is going to be three. It's going to be three inches, though, so we need to change the logical unit here uh, to inches. And it's going to say, all right, so your... 469 pixels is going to equal 3 inches. So if, if 469 pixels equals 3 inches here, 469 pixels over here will equal 3 inches as well. We can hit OK. Let's clear the ruler, and let's tick on Use Measurement Scale. Very important. Now we can do something like measure the length of the camera. All right, and it's about 5.28 inches uh, long. We can measure the diameter across this little lens here. It's about 2.78 inches across. Maybe this magnifying glass, it's about 3 inches across. Uh, across this book, right? And we've got about 10.85 inches. Now, it doesn't take into account, like, the perspective of this image, which is obviously the stuff is further away than the stuff closer to us, so it's not going to give a perfectly accurate measurement. But the point is, you can set the ruler to measure and and give you a measurement of stuff in your photo. Let's say you're looking at a skyline and you know there's one building that's 300 feet across. You can measure that and say, I know that's 300 feet across. And then you could measure other buildings to see how far across they are and how tall they are using the measurement tool um, in Photoshop. So there's a lot of interesting and cool stuff you can do with this tool. Like I said, it's probably not going to be something that you actively practically use in your work every day. But that is the ruler tool in Photoshop. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed it. That's it. Get it. Got it. Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.